Hi. What are you reading? Well, I'm actually reading about insects. Okay, what does the book say? Well, it says here that insects don't really bite. In fact, they sting. And their sting contains chemicals which insects use for their self-defense. Interesting. In fact, did you know there's an insect called the wasp and its sting causes a lot of irritation and pain. To reduce the pain caused by the wasp sting, we treat the affected area with vinegar. And when a bee stings, the treatment should be done with baking soda solution. But I don't get something. If the irritation and pain caused by both the stings is the same, why do we treat them differently? I mean, if the sting is the same, they should be treated the same way, right? Although both the stings seem the same, but they still require different solutions for their treatment. And that is because the bee sting might contain a chemical that is in some way different than that present in the wasp sting. Now look around you, you will find that there are many chemicals present. These can be either acidic, basic or neutral. So let us learn more about these different chemicals. Today, we are going to learn about acids and bases. Wait, don't get scared. Not all the acids are this dangerous. Although there are some acids that can burn anything around them, but there are some mild acids too. We even consume them. What? You don't believe me? Okay, do you recognize these things? These edible things too have acid present in them. The lemon has citric acid present in it. The tomato has oxalic acid present in it. And I'm sure you must have eaten curd too, right? Even the curd has lactic acid present in it. And, and, and. Not just that. Even your body contains so many acids. How do you think you digest food? There is an acid present in your stomach. Not just in your stomach, but everybody's stomach that helps in digestion of food. And that acid is called hydrochloric acid. But how do we know which substance is acidic? Okay. What is the taste of lemon, tomato and curd? All of them are sour, right? That is because of the acid present in them. Acids are generally sour tasting chemicals. Okay, so what are bases? Okay, if acid was a person, base would be its enemy. Both are always ready to fight and cut each other's effect. So if acids are present all around us, are bases present all around us too? Of course they are. You must have not realized, but you use them daily. If you have brushed your teeth and had a bath this morning, you have already interacted with the bases. That is because the toothpaste and soaps we use are made up of bases. The toothpaste is made up of a base called ammonium hydroxide. And soaps are made up of a base called sodium hydroxide. And that is the reason that they are slippery to touch. And even this bitter guard. Ew, it tastes so bitter. Of course it does. And that is because of the base present inside. So generally, bases are bitter and slippery chemicals. And what about the base in the bitter gourd? It has a very complex name. It is known as Momotisin 2. Oh, Momos, I know them. It's not Momos, it's Momode. Okay, anyways, it's not very important right now. Moving on, now we know that acids are sour to taste, bases are bitter to taste. Let's see what happens when they come together. Hey, what's this? Ew, it's salty. Yup, it is a salt. Whenever an acid and base come together, they form salt by cutting each other's effect. They neutralize each other. So Sarah, now do you know why do we need to treat the wasping with vinegar? Hmm, let me guess. So vinegar is sour, so it must be acidic in nature. So the wasping must have been basic in nature. So when we add vinegar to the wasping, the acidity of the vinegar neutralizes or cuts out the basic nature of the wasping. Absolutely right. Okay, what about the baking soda solution then? Well, 
baking soda is bitter, so it must be basic. Therefore, the bee sting must have been acidic in nature. Correct? Oh wow, I know so many things now. So acids are sour tasting chemicals, bases are bitter and slippery chemicals, lemons have citric acid, soap has sodium hydroxide, tomato has oxalic acid, curd has lactic acid, and toothpaste has ammonium hydroxide. And acids neutralize bases and they form salts. Wow, Sarah, that was a good revision. Okay, now can you guess why do we need to take Eno when we suffer from acidity? 